For question number two, we're going to add another resistor in. So we took out the original resistor, and now we're going to put two resistors in the circuit. We can draw those in our schematic. So we'll call this one R1. So that means that, you know, that's just a symbolic name for it. Then we have another resistor, and this connection we call parallel. In other words, you know, the resistors are connected in parallel. You can kind of see that by these two lines. Call well, this one R2. Now, tell us what the voltage is going to be across R1 and R2. That's a question we're going to ask. Now let's try to build the circuit. So we're going to use two different resistors this time. And we're going to connect negative terminal, positive terminal. So this is similar to the last circuit. There where we have our resistor 1. We're going to add our resistor 2 here. And I'm going to make this parallel connection with these alligator clips. Clip those together like that. And I put some electrical tape on the resistors, not just to block the, uh, the values, but also because then I could use an infrared thermometer to measure the temperature. So we have our circuit built. You know, if things are working properly, you can see that you know, we still have 5 volts across our power supply. And then our current is 1.23 amps. Now if we look back at the circuit, you know, things have been running for a little while now, hopefully stabilizing. Can we measure the temperature of the resistors? So I'm getting about 42 degrees Celsius on R1, and about 25 degrees, or 25.9 degrees Celsius on R2. And the temperature they just maybe of the eraser over there, just for ambient. So the room temperature is 24.8 degrees Celsius. So both the resistors are a little bit warmer. And you might say that this one's been connected longer than that one. So we could do another measurement. It's getting even warmer now. It's up to 53 degrees Celsius. R2 is around 26 degrees. Eraser is around 25. The racer probably got warm because I touched it with my hand. So the question we're going to have for you is, what's the total equivalent resistance of R1 and R2? And you can calculate that because you know the voltage and the current. And which resistor has a larger resistance value, the R1 or the R2 value?